certainly enough rotation to produce maybe a wind gust and perhaps a little bit of a small hail. And you have other heavy rain showers running from near Seymour back to north of Brownstown. Then we get into another batch. This is what we're going to be waiting for, so to speak, as we move through this Tuesday evening. The main lift from the remnants of Barrel now out near the Wabash, now down to near Evansville and western Kentucky. That should shift across the viewing area as we move through the evening. For that reason, we're going to hold on to this tornado watch for the next several hours. This goes until midnight tonight, and you can see this is for the entire WLKY viewing area. Suzanne, any last comments? We haven't had any reports as of right now, so we're going to continue, obviously, to monitor this with that tornado watch until midnight. As Jay was mentioning, we are still watching for that line of severe storms back out to the west to continue to make their progression off to the north and to the northeast. Jay was suggesting any time from about 9 to 11 o'clock tonight, we'll be watching for some of those additional storms. And obviously, Jay is going to keep you posted. Matt Milosevic will be here. The whole team will be watching. And you can always follow along at WLKY.com as well. Okay, folks, so we're, uh, we're going to get you back to programming here. Know that we will be watching the skies here at WLKY, no question about it. That tornado watch again in effect until midnight tonight. The entire WLKY weather team, we have you covered as we'll be watching this event until it exits all of the viewing area. And again, that will be occurring around midnight tonight or shortly thereafter. Things will be turning much, much quieter as we move through the overnight period. Again, we got you covered here at WLKY. Thanks for watching. Thanks for allowing us to keep you safe and informed. Let's get you back to the CBS Evening News.